Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the first stream of today. Today we're going to be watching Banditos vs STB on the Sandal map. My name's Jack and I'm here with Ranke and our new commentator Vegas. How you doing Ranke? Uh, yeah, very well, but broadcaster. new new broadcaster, of course. Yeah, broadcaster, broadcaster, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah My very, bad, apologies. Very lovely to have him here, and uh, how are you, do you doing uh, tonight, Jack? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. I'm intrigued to see what will happen in this game. This is the last round of the third major rankings before the major starts. Already, it is a uh, big advantage for the SB, uh, STB side on the blue side, as they did manage to take that first overdrive. But I feel like we're watching a pretty level-headed team, to be honest. Um, kind of intrigued to see how this game will go. Yeah, fully agree with you there. Um, are the teams introduced already, actually? Um, uh, no, go ahead and introduce one and I'll do the other. Lovely. We have on the right side Banditos playing with Quick, Typo, All is for You, Amarant, and Manuel. Yeah, so then on S uh, TB we have AQU, False, Elastic, Arcane, and uh, uh, TM, TM. Yes, I believe that's how you say it. Anyways, flag was returned there, I believe. Um, and another ID was taken a short while ago by the Viking player um, on the uh, Bandito side, which is a good use of an overdrive, which could come into play here. We do see Typer and All is for You. Uh, pushing in there, but that hunter's doing good damage. That Viking making him no repair, and also getting a nice railgun shot onto him. So there's not going to be a major advance from them actually, unfortunately. Yeah, we have Aku and Temi here though. Um, it's still all with without overdrive, of course, here early in the game. Yeah, it's it seems like a bit of a slow push. I mean, we did see False put his uh, Paladin OD to the test there on the left side, but he is getting contest quite a bit. But he's still doing really good damage, staying alive. But all is for you is going to be using the Viking OD. There is that uh, dead tank blocking the way a bit. Uh, AQU can hit one shot there on Thunder. I believe he does have a repair and he still is pulling his half HP though. And he does have his teammate to back him up, but he does get killed just beforehand. Now I don't think they're going to be able to uh, get that flag and it is returned with an overdrive box dropping here. Seems like a lot of people are contesting testing arcane has a possibility but he is going to get taken out by typo typo is going to pick it up as well yeah well played there by bandito there typo catching that od box um but so far to be honest i think it's really hard to predict this game yeah i mean we've seen two aggressive attacks already but i feel like just minor mistakes are being made um which is really setting both these teams back but you're definitely right um it is a pretty good game and i i can't really see the outcome either to be honest with you um but hopefully it's a it's not a too long lasting game <laughs> yeah 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 will you agree there with you else for you here can potentially create the first big pool attempt here but he's low on health already Accu doing up nice shots elastic as well um, a lot of players with OD actually right now enabled uh, already, I should say. So, um, a good attack coming up in a few minutes, I think. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is uh, quite an intriguing game, a bit of server like that. But, um, yeah, we're going to be seeing AQU with the Aeros OD and a Crusader right behind them. This could be a major attack. Quick doesn't have his Hunter OD. AQU is going to be using their overdrive. Man, Wells going to be acting as Crusader. Nice connection there. And all this for you is going to be closing that. But there's still players in the way here. Um, AQU pulling the flag there. Possible repair. Ooh, Viking OD coming in from Arcane. But nice Eris OD in the middle there. And there's an OD box dropping. Wiping out three players. And there's still false alive. All this for you might even take this uh, overdrive box, which will be useful. And takes out the flag. And Manuel pulling the flag, it's a lot of chaos happening here. That's a pretty good summary for what's going on right now. <laughs> chaos here, we have Typo with an OD, um, ready to um, create something here, because you're actually are very, very low on health. There's still potential here, I mean, hopefully they don't block the ramp, but they do. But Quick, can he do some damage? Typo's got no repair there, and Quick's going to get taken out as well. Ooh, he makes a... Uh, he kind of wastes his uh, 
uh, crusade already there it doesn't get a connection onto anyone. That was all for you though. With his Viking ID, it's no Reaper, only one shot. Um, still alive though. He's not going to give up without a fight, that's for sure. Maybe he has his repair soon, but he's staying al alive for a long time. It it's either a big balls play or gonna be a waste of time. I think it's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, I want to say maybe he can try to sell the freaking key, but well, yeah. it's, it's not always smart to stay alive. Like it's most cases, it's not not smart to stay alive, uh, especially longer than your supplies room. Uh, yeah, exactly. Resp respawning from time to time is, is actually not bad, you know. Exactly, exactly. Overdrive box dropping here. We got a Marath within mid with his Eris. All is for you. No repair. Gonna be using though. Takes out one player. Will Marath take it? No, he doesn't. Gonna leave it for the Viking. Oof. Quick pulling the flag as well. Is for no repair. Doesn't manage to take the overdrive. Which quick will typo. Manages pick up the flag. They gotta watch out for Temerik on the right side though. And the flag doesn't get captured quite yet. And they can still potentially return quick. Oh no. Good communication there, to be honest, there from STB. Uh, it's, I really thought that Temik would go for the return there, but uh, communication with his teammate, so he could continue that pull attempt. And that pull attempt is still potentially a capture right now, but Typo is returning that flag. Um, so he'll keep the score uh, at 0 0. I don't know if both these teams are winners or failures at this point, but I've seen so many opportunities. And uh, actually, Obviously, we're going to see enough around on this map, but I want to see what the the second map is. And it's going to be red alert, so quite a big differential um, compared to this map. But we do see False here with his Paladin OD, Campbell middle, a lot of players spawning left side. Oh man, we're going to be using a really good overdrive coming in from him. Going to be neutralizing one player, but False is still alive. No one going to be able to kill him quite yet. No, Tamarik misses the flag. AQC doesn't use DA, but still going to be getting that capture, and that is 1 0. Seven minutes into this game. Yeah, STB in the lead right now, but three minutes here from uh, and details to make something from it to get it back to a tie. OD box also dropping in the mid. Um, all is for you who lacks health right now to go for the OD box. Um, Aku, that's a pretty risky use and take, but I like it. Didn't even think about saying the name like that. Aku it sounds even cooler the way I say it. Oh, <laughs> how did you say it actually? I don't know. A Q U. Yeah, I thought it would have been. <laughs> It would have been in caps if you want to. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Could be right. We need but... to be schooled before the stream, to be honest. <laughs> For real. Two minutes remaining here. We're going to see Aku using their Eris OD. Really good ODs from her recently. And um, they're going to be pulling their second flag here. And it's looking really good so far. Tomek does have his uh, Xed OD. And nah, no one's going to be able to return this flag. He does not have a DA, but still manages to get the capture. What a play from both those players. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you there. And um, STB is proving here that they are the better team. Quite yeah, literally. Oh no, it's uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds remaining. And I, I don't think there's any hopes here for even a capture for the Bendito side. They played a good game, but not good enough yeah yeah that's a good summary to be honest um like if you realize this is the seventh round and you'll see teams actually playing um that's looking pretty good but the level uh, level th uh, uh, stb is playing right now is actually really good quite literally yeah i mean we do still have some overdrives from them but aqu does take the flag looks like false is pulling into their base Big ballsy moves from him. He does get taken out there. Um, and I don't know what they're going to be doing about this Eris OD on the Bendito side. His 1 HP has really not got much potential here. They've only got one, um, probably one flag they could even capture. Arcane using the 
lethal OD as well, taking out two players with quick, wasting his overdrive in the meantime. It's an unfortunate game. See Temi here pulling in the last seconds here. Typo counter pulling there. It's actually the first pull attempt from from Bandito that's so far out of the base. Also yeah, will be I returned. Mean, even, I mean, I don't know why uh, Amrith was using his Aeros OD that last second, like, he, he had so many potentials just from wit witnessing that. Um, so it's kind of frustrating to see. By the way, Vegas, you can press uh, space. Um, and yeah, this is uh, interesting. I mean, both of us can predict it, but do you think the same will happen in the next round? Or do you think uh, there's a comeback here from Benditos? Ooh, comeback is is not what I expect to be honest, but you have to say um, Aku did some good ODs there uh, into the red base, and that's a lot easier uh, from from the blue side than from the red side. Oh, 100%. So I mean, maybe. I'm intrigued to see what will happen on the different sides here. Even for Hunter, this is probably the most fun uh, you could have for playing Hunter, and it's probably the, the uh, easiest map. Uh, for a hunter player, so um, I don't know. I know more about quick than I do elastic, um, and it's not too bad. But I do feel like, just in general as a team, Benditos are stressing a little bit here. Are they either not using ODs or they're just using it pointlessly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have not seen good ODs. Um, it, it sounds a bit harsh, actually, but it, it's the, it's the truth. I've not yeah. seen OD from Bad Dito right there, like, yo, he, this, this actually makes a you different. get a capture in. Yeah, exactly. It's just filler ODs. And that's yeah, good pretty much. That's good yeah. if you do a use and take or something like that. Um, but not I in mean, this case. Talking about use and takes, we did see Banditos take a couple ODs in the beginning there, but uh, going into the end, I feel like they lost all hope and they've got to keep that momentum they had in the beginning because, like we said, in it, within the first seven minutes of the round it was really like back and forward we saw Bandito's pull then we saw uh, SB, uh, STB pull and it was just like a bit of back and forward gameplay but near the end we saw the better of STB and they, they managed to capture two flags um, and it worked out really well in their favour but overdrive doesn't get taken Sammy hiding that box uh, or dodging that box sm smartly to be honest. Yeah. Otherwise it would have definitely yeah, be a too late sell the strike. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Arcane. Oh, doesn't take it. Four for you. Does manage to take that OD box. Gonna be good. Just self, buddy. Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a good start for Benditos. Exactly what they need right now. Playing blue side, having a Viking OD early. Um, they have the potential and they they get all the chances they need to to get it back to a close game. Now let's see if they can uh, they can perform at this level. Uh, we see Manuel trying to pull something already. We see a big attack from uh, STB already as well, but without OD, so it's not that much impact. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I feel like maybe a flaw they're having right now I'm focusing a bit more right side on banditos because obviously we saw a better gameplay from uh, STB on a previous round so I want to see more of uh, banditos and focus on them for a little bit but I feel like their right side they're really losing the focus here we see false being no repair once again and staying alive and just dealing damage being a critical player here it's not being too aggressive. They're already in the lead, and they know that. They could tie this round. I'm sure they want to win it, but there's more stress on Benditos uh, at the end of the day. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, losing a round is uh, not good for uh, for the rest of the game. You know, if you if you back to back lose a round, then it's pretty much over. So it's it's very necessary that they get a draw at least here in this round. Oh, d is dropping. If Amarant can catch that one, then they have the perfect combination here to start and attack Elastic. Getting that one. Hunter, eh? It's how you can say. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I mean, something I want to witness here is something great from uh, Benditos. They have right control now. You know, 
if Manuel had a bit more of left at, or all this for you, could easily use. He could use right now, open a position for Manuel, but maybe he just doesn't see that vision and it, it's gone out of the blue now. Manuel's already no repair. He is still going to try and pull the flag, but he he completely missed that ramp. Oh, look, 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 look. That, that's full team communication, to be honest. Manuel just should have said, hey man, you could choose here, you know. It, uh, you know the positions pl people play, you know. We, we see always for you every time on the right side. We see Manuel every time on the left side. Um, just keep yourself updated. It's difficult to see where you, your, uh, your teammates are, but it's easy to talk with them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's easier said than thus for us because um, we are uh, with the birds in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, for them, they really got to have communication on point, to be honest. And uh, if they're not able to do that, then they're not going to have any map control. They're not going to be able to pull flags or whatever. Oh, at last they're going to be using a player. Uh, OD on one player here. Quick has his overdrive, and I don't know what Elastic was doing. Um, Quick had nice OD. It's not. He's gonna block the flag here. Amarith really didn't need to use, um, honestly. But that OD box is dropping, and I don't know. I feel like it's mistakes like that which are making both these teams kind of flop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just wasting an error, OD, you know, there's like three minutes of re uh, regenerating. And on the good base, like you said. But, sorry? And on the good base, like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look at this, to be honest. Um, I don't know what you think about this, Jack. Um, let's wait, Manuel maybe gets interesting. Uh, no, not really, that'll be an easy return. Um, we saw hours for you, catching OD there at the 10 minute mark. He still has that OD. And we see uh, Arcane fully regenerating his OD in the meantime. Yeah, um, I mean, we saw all this for you use his OD like really briefly for the overdrive, but it, yeah, he hasn't used it for an attack, no. Oh, did he do a use and take? I actually didn't realize, but yeah. that's still something. Okay, then I was uh, a bit too harsh there. Um, Manuel here <laughs> into the attack. Yeah, that's not, not very nice of me. Uh, Manuel here in the attack uh, without repair. Um, but still can do a lot of damage here and no one we had to repair then this is a lot of potential actually but a good spawn there from Aku if Amarith had this OD now you see that that's the kind of ODs they need yeah but he just used on something else uh, <laughs> <laughs> quick there the difficulty with driving come on I don't know what it is to be honest are they used to hovering hulls is it not used to the combo they are playing but a lot know, of driver I've... errors yeah, I don't know. All is for you once again. Gonna be used. What? In communication. We completely lost. There's completely lack of communication. I. I don't know. And not even communication, to be honest. You can see. Uh, always for you using. That, that you can see that. Then you can realize, well, hey, he just used, so he's full regen. Uh, he is zero uh, percent. No reason to say uh, not pick it up. I don't know. Yeah, but man, this this is one lethal game. I mean, honestly, I don't I don't know what to say. Uh, there's not much which can be said. Um, the game is our witness. So are the viewers. It's still 0-0 zero, zero as well. The game is our proof, I mean. Yeah, it's still 0-0, zero, zero, which is surprising to me, honestly, from the amount of fumbles we've seen. But if it's from both sides at this point. I don't know. Maybe Red Alert will be different. I do know that Benditos play a lot of Red Alert. So maybe that is their rise and shining armor. But only time can say. Talking about um, Relica, I was here with, uh, with the legend yesterday and he actually found uh, the blue side the better side. I never heard that before, but he thought, yeah, it's way more open, way more places to attack from, I don't know. A different way of, uh, of, of looking at it, I think. I don't know, I mean, red side's always been the better side. Is he talking about the lower side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he really. Yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah, oh, some different no. opinions tonight. Eh? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. But maybe I'd see, I'd you know, you know, this game. A lot of this game is is preference, um, and something can statistically be the better side, but you can still feel more comfortable on the other side. You know. Yeah, true. That's completely true. Wouldn't know to be honest, man. I never uh, feel comfortable on Red Alert. <laughs> I, I hate Red Alert, especially uh, if you play a lot of Hunter, it's the worst. Uh, difficulty with driving through the base and stuff like that. It's actually, it's, I find it to be one of the most boring maps. I'd rather play Molotov than that. <laughs> Molotov is at least never a draw, you know? It's all, yeah, Molotov is always something. Yeah, but the, uh, is, Red Alert is, is the, the only reason I don't like it is because it's, it's uh, hard to spectate. Yeah, I guess that's <laughs> it. Yeah, that is another point. Yeah, that's true. But that's me as non esports player. For real. I mean, even if you're not an esports player, even in matchmaking, you can tell pretty bad. But yeah, yeah. there's another drive dropping. False is going to be using AQU, going to be using middle. You see, I don't know why they don't just use it. Manuel's still pulling, but. They're easily gonna get this return. Manuel's been pulling flags for days. Will they ever shoot? Please. Oh. They, they can uh, regenerate this returning force into an attack here. Echo has to use here, but not shoot it at the sky. Um, pretty good OD, to be honest. I think. Um, and this will be the first capture, highly likely. Yeah, I, uh, there's so much mis. Ooh, maybe not. There's so much miscommunication. No drive coming in, and it, it looks actually promising, but I don't think it's gonna stop. Arkin not using DP, DA, I mean, goes for the nitro, gets the capture. Counterpool is coming into play, and uh, only on the right side there's a hunter here. No one else really can contest them. Typo still has the flag, gonna make it a draw, but I don't know, man. I feel like. Uh, there's more opportunities there for uh, Benditos. I mean, yeah. Are Arcane. Using? There is still time enough. Yeah, all his fees are going to be using as well. The ramp gets blocked. He still manages to take out two players. A Q looking behind them. And there's Viking as well. And Arcane's going to use DP. And yeah, this is going to be a draw. But why can they use when there's no time left, and why can't they use when there's... Hey man, I, I don't know. Maybe they, they start seeing the time, they're like, ah, oh, I gotta use soon. It's even now or never. I don't know, I don't know. Um, but, we had some fun here in Sandal. Um, a 1-0 score overall for STB, and we will get to the third round here uh, in a bit. Yeah, so... Oh. Never mind. Yeah, Vegas. Uh, Vegas, one more thing. I just need you to give a point to STB as it was a technical defeat, I think. Um, so it's actually 2 0 for SP STB. I keep wanting to say S. I don't know what I keep wanting to say, but that name is horrible. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep, yep, No, I see. Nope. Uh, nah, you, yeah, you keep it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, hide, yeah. hide, 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 hide. Hide on OBS. It, it, yes. No, it's intermission, good. intermission. It's good, it's good. Yeah, it's good. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's massive. All right. Amazing. So Let's wait for that map link, but that's actually game changing, to be honest, Jack. Um, I wonder what it was about. What happened um, to give STB the point? I mean, I'm sure it's going to suck now for, um, for Benditos, honestly. I don't know. That, um, that game was kind of horrid. But both these teams, if we look back at their records of who they won against, so Benditos have only really lost quite badly to Spirit 
and revolutionary. And then mm. the other close call was against Drama. So I would have thought Drama is a better team than uh, STB, but maybe just a bad day or something, I'm not sure. But we do have the next map link, and I'll put it in our special. They won well. so, Sorry, sorry, sorry. They, they won from Diamonds? Uh, for Diamonds from Drama? N no, they lost. They lost, oh, but okay. it was a close game. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. That's all good. No need to be sorry. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what happens this round. Indeed, indeed. Um, we'll get here to round three. On the beautiful and well loved by us Red Alert map. It's uh, amazing. You know what map is even better? The no map is better than this map. This is high map. Highland, man, uh, you forgot. You forgot. Highland is, is bad. Highland People is the like best Highland. map to get to a draw. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Okay, we are just waffling uh, a bit. The waffleitos, just a couple. <laughs> but anyways, let's see what will happen. Are they gonna be uh? Changing combinations here or win three. Win three. Uh, we're gonna be re Uh yeah yeah, you can. So I'm gonna be watching now. Then rejoin onto Highland. Uh, oh, nah, you got that stuck in my head. Onto Red Alert. And <laughs> Sorry. I'm waiting them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting them to uh, take the overdrive box. Looks like we're going to be seeing one Crusader shaft on the red side. Let's see if DT's uh, comments come up. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah come yeah. up to. Um, to an advantage, or I, I can't even think of the saying I'm trying to. Yeah, I know is he telling us the truth or not? Yeah, exactly. Or is this a liar, you know? <laughs> I joke. I know, pants on fire, and it's like telephone wire. But, <laughs> but we, 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 to be honest, Benditos needs a good round right now if they want to continue in this tournament. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, they're, they're looking promising now, they flipped the Viking. If they mm. can take the low drive box, if it drops, it'll be good for them. But, no promises. And, by the way, to any viewers uh, who just tuned in, score is currently 2-0. So, if it is a draw or if it's a win uh, for STB, then they will be winning this game today. And this is the seventh round, so these games are going to be uh, streaming uh are gonna be the final ones of um of this rmr it's been a long long couple weeks and we're still not done we still got the major <laughs> yeah yeah uh, this tournament is long to be honest I, yeah, I, yeah it feels long anyways arcane Took the overdrive there, and uh, yeah, let's see what occurs. Um, yeah, anyways. he's starting good. Sorry, yeah, so I was, I was muted for a minute. But uh, anyways, yeah, that Viking's gonna be no repair on the right side here. It looks like Manuel's playing a bit all over the place, which I like to see on Crusaders. Typo's gonna be pulling this flag. AQU doesn't have a repair. Typo's gonna get taken out, and alas, it's gonna return the flag there. The overdrive box should be dropping uh, pretty soon. Arcane gonna be using a lovely OD, taking out two players. And he's going behind for the others. False is gonna be pulling on the left side where it's clear. There's Hemrick uh, with his shaft gonna be uh, scoping in there and no one's gonna be able to stop this flag 
I don't know. Sorry, I missed what you said there for a second. Uh, First capture already. Pretty early capture from the winning team. gonna be changing something by the way guys so if you don't see the game don't worry it's coming back but uh yeah i don't know man i don't think the blue side is the better side that's all i can say <laughs> oh the blue side is not a better team you know um, uh, yeah well that too that too but stb is uh is doing what they need to do right now Nah, they're, they're railing in, they're locked in. They're doing the, the most they can right now and uh, gotta represent that, bro. Let's, let's see what will occur now that they do have this left control. There's four players from STB. Uh, a lot of them with overdrives here. We do see AQU within mid then does get their DA but does get taken out there luckily from Typo and False is uh, playing Ring Around the Roses with All Is For You Yeah let's see False actually um, dodging indeed the players um, here once again facing All Is For You they are not getting uh, good friends after this game that's for sure uh, <laughs> Oh Deepak also yeah. dropping Typo pulling the flag here, he's no repair um, and False is pulling, uses his overdrive, no DA and this is gonna be a capture. Ah, uh, hey, nah bro, this, this guy needs to use his Zeros ODs sooner. He had a, such potential, but AQU is just, I feel like, probably the better Aeros on the map right now. To be honest, you know, First round send off, I was impressed. Yeah, I don't I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I haven't seen much from AQU, but this game, um, I feel like they're one of the main players, along with uh, probably False. But they're, they're the only two players which maybe I've stuck my eye out more for, you know? Yeah, I agree with you there, definitely. Um the players we remember, I think. Um, yeah, exactly. Showing some good skills. And let's see, there's still six minutes left and we already see a 2-0 score. It, it's not looking good for Banditos here. Um, not looking good at all. Yeah, <sighs> this is, seems like it's gonna be over. Looks like Tamrik is gonna be pulling once again here, making it their third flag, all is for you going to be using, but gets taken out straight away, only allowing one kill in the bag. Temerick, one shot for anyone, but still manages to survive, and wow. An unlucky game for them today. Manuel though, pulling flag, no reaper. What? Yeah. We'd love to see those. I don't know if you saw that, Ryan K, but... The OD from Amaranth or something different? I don't know, actually, this shit, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah, uh -huh. anyways, I mean, this this game seems like it's GG's, I'm not going to lie. There's only <laughs> five minutes, yeah. Not much. I, I want to have more optimism from Benditos, but there's not much I can actually give or say. Yeah, 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 I agree. I agree. It's pretty much over. Um, but something optimistic is the amount of TMR points they have, you know? So um, they will have a fun Wait, major. Really? Yeah, they they stock, stick together here for three rankings. And, you know, if you just stick together and not <laughs> rejoin, rename, and redo your team every single rankings like <laughs> most players here, 
Then you can actually get a good amount of TMR points uh, without performing out of the ordinary good or something. Yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, you know, true. top top twenty four is the paint, right, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a uh, star. Yeah, so if you just take together. Not star. What am I talking about? It's lucky seven. So. So if you just take together, uh, that's nearly guaranteed. Oh yeah, they do have quite a lot of TMR points. Wow. That's mad. But yeah, I mean, overall, it's been quite an interesting game, to say the least today. I mean, I've been kind of surprised. I've, I've, I don't think it was, it was an upsetting game, to say the least, because I would have liked Benditos to win this, but um, we just saw the better side of uh, STB today, and they came out victorious. Um, and they're pulling once again, so I mean, we are seeing a counter pull from Typo, but it's going to get taken out. Yeah, five zero car already. They are definitely uh, on top of this round. I feel like the lack of motivation is definitely right now happening here for uh, uh, Benditos. You know, it's not it's not changing anything anymore. Still, yeah, they can uh, still they can look look back to a pretty good uh, tournament, I think. Um, or for their, uh, if you look at their efforts, you know, it's nothing out of the ordinary. They've won some some games, and uh, we'll see them in the in the. Yeah, we'll see them in the major for sure. It's uh, it's not the end of the the road for them. But it is it is an upsetting one. I mean, I don't think they really care that much, to be honest. Let's open up. Does it make you play better? Yeah, exactly. I mean, like I said, they got pain, so why should they? Yeah, that's a reason a lot of those players, uh, definitely the players in the in the lower to midfield, a reason they play for just for the paint, um, and with the amount of uh, of uh, of active teams, it's actually pretty doable as well. So um, you know, see it as a chance for yourself as well. Yeah. In the next major exactly. rankings, um, and if you reach that goal, that's pretty good. Exactly. I mean, <clears throat> what's the next game we're going to be watching? Maybe we can see if that game's going to be, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit as intense as this one. I think it's. Um, what ice for some more? I, yeah. I don't know. I haven't. I can't remember what Hot Ice played like. I remember more, slightly more than Hot Ice, but we've seen Hot Ice play quite a few armors, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, definitely they are active for a pretty long time, I have to say. Um, let me check, actually. And Amor, of course, a bit below level this rankings. They started with rankings one pretty good, but it got a bit worse every single rankings. Not a great, uh, not a great season for them, but still, you know, enough at TMR points to claim a paint. At, at Hot Ice, yeah, they are playing for a long time, actually. Let me scroll back. I'm talking about uh, Summer Major Rankings 1 2023. Yeah. I was just thinking now, I was like, I wonder how many teams actually have the same tank page with all the stats. Because, like, if you look at Team Pointers, their tank page has so many games or stuff like that, you know? But with that being said, guys, that is the end of this stream. It seems like uh, there was an obvious winner, um, and that is STB. We're going to be streaming again in under 15, uh, just above 15 minutes, sorry. But uh, thank you, Ranky, and thank you, Vegas, for being here tonight, and we'll see you guys later.